although I'm not a football fan, I've been doing a few videos about the World Cup from the perspective of someone that doesn't enjoy the game. But I have to say, I'm a little sad that England aren't progressing to the final. Yesterday they were beaten by Croatia, and I'm given to understand this was, in the last few minutes of extra time, Croatia, what everyone's telling me is a, a lucky goal. Now, I didn't see any of this. I was actually watching Rizzoli and Isles. And if you're not familiar with that programme, it's a detective drama, mainly featuring Angie Harmon looking fit as fuck and occasionally shooting people. But the response when England lost on social media was really refreshing because it was mainly England fans saying, oh, well, they, they did well to get this far. No one expected it. You did as proud lads, bring on 2020. I mean, there's the obvious from fans of uh, Wales and Scotland who always post happy things when England get knocked out. Although I have to point out, I'm not a football fan, but I'm fairly certain neither Scotland or Wales are gonna be playing in the final. But then a miracle occurred. Today, if you look at the sky, it's gray and overcast. It's been raining. And people are miserable because England were knocked out of the World Cup. So it's raining and people are miserable. We've got our fucking country back. This is what being an Englishman is about. Drizzle and pessimism. Besides which, I was getting a bit sick of this fucking heat wave because I'm a metalhead. That means I'm duty bound to never leave the house unless I'm wearing all black and fuck has it been hard work. I haven't seen a goth for weeks. I don't know how they've been coping. And if it got any hotter, I expect British gingers would have just burst into flames on the fucking street. So yeah, it is really sad that England have got knocked out of the World Cup, but great that there's such a positive attitude. I don't know how to end this because I don't know anything else about football.